of 7,107 islands. Most Muslims live in parts of Mindanao, Palawan, and the Sulu Archipelago, an area known as Bangsamoro or the Moro region, while some have migrated into urban and rural areas in different parts of the country. Islam was first brought by Arab traders in the late 13th and early 14th centuries, 200 years before the Spanish invasion. These Muslim merchants originally came from present-day Malaysia and Indonesia. They landed in Sulu Islands and preached Islam to the indigenous population and built the first mosque in the Philippines in the town of Simunul in Tawi-Tawi in the mid-14th century. The Islamic propagation reached as far as the Kingdom of Tondo in current-day Manila in Luzon in the northern Philippines. It is notable to see that there was no clear record of armed conquest made by the Muslims against the local people and it seemed that they embraced Islam voluntarily. Muslims believe that the past Muslims were invited into Islam by the good manners possessed by the preachers towards Islam. Different states and colonies embraced Islam without being subjugated by a Muslim military. As time went on, the Muslims prospered under these Muslim states, which had trade relations with nearby islands and even far-off countries like India and China. By that time, the Philippines does not exist yet as a country, rather as a group of islands where different sultanates rule over different lands, where many of these are Muslim governments. The first attempt to conquer the Philippines was made by a Portuguese sailor working for Spain named Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. He is also known for leading the fleet of ships that is first to circumnavigate the world. He was able to convert some people to Christianity according to historians, but he failed in Christianizing and conquering Mactan and Cebu in the central Philippines when a local Muslim chieftain Lapu-Lapu led a counter-attack against the superior fighting force of the Spaniards, who were armored and wielded firearms. Lapu-Lapu led a group of warriors armed with machetes, sword, and bamboo spears, and fought the well-armed and armored conquerors on the seashore. Lapu-Lapu killed Ferdinand Magellan, thus earning himself the title as the first Filipino freedom fighter. Lapu-Lapu is continually remembered today by having his silhouette used by the Philippine National Police in their official seal as a sign of bravery. When the Spanish returned to the Philippines in the mid-1500s, after the failure of Ferdinand Magellan to conquer Cebu, they conquered Manila, where they encountered more Muslims under the leadership of Raja Sulaiman, whose castle stood in the area 